I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I ain't have a scale But I knew the plug, I ain't need a scale I cleaned it up, now I'm too legit I'm making it harder for them to do the shit A crazy ass world that we living in I'm crazy enough to move through this shit You already know what it is man, salute to the subscribers that notification gang Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay in tune With all the latest content John Starks The Dunk on that note, yes sir, I just knew they wasn't going to show that. I just knew they wasn't going to show Starks dunk on him. That was nasty. Rice Gang hoodie is now available on RiceGangClothing.com. Also, all the other merchandise is available on Rice Gang Clothing. Uh, we got a lot of orders going on tomorrow. Truly appreciate all the support and we'll get you your merchandise. You heard me right. And salute to my guy Showtime SP. He's uh, back to work. But we're still social distancing. We get them in and out to try to, you know, record podcasts as we can and different blogs. So, um, something popped up yesterday on the timeline and had a lot of people up in arms. You know, people were saying, Hitman Holla threw it all away. Hitman Holla blew it. Um, Hitman Holla, some pictures came out of him and a girl that landed on the shade room. And they landed on a bunch of other websites too. People were talking. Oh my goodness, he's getting caught up with an IG thotty. He's getting caught up with something. He he had a bra. He cheated on his girlfriend. Now everybody knows that uh, Hitman Holla has been in a long-term relationship with his girlfriend, and um, they just came out with a YouTube channel. And you have to look at the um, the preponderance, the way these things go. Like you, you, the, a YouTube channel comes out, and when these relationship couples. You know, they do things for shock value. It's happened a lot. You've seen chicks pretend like they're having sex with somebody. You've seen dudes call their girlfriend a B word on camera. It's all clout at the end of the day. Everything is clout. It's the clout era. Like, people are going to do things to generate attention. The reason why is Hitman has a huge platform on Wildin' Out and on Instagram. And I'm sure he's making good paper, but YouTube money is not bad. Like, you can literally make thousands of dollars a month on YouTube just talking, just, you know, uh, these couples with these relationship goals and these relationship challenges. They're doing millions and millions of views. And the best way to get a lot of these platforms started is with something controversial. So he then, uh, he then post you know the pictures the chick posted the pictures and it was a good ploy and she fired too i ain't gonna lie i would have corrected myself but she's fired so she posted these pictures with him and her in a bathroom and on a couch and he's smiling and then you have all of the twitter lawyers and instagram investigators going to work oh this is not these have got to be new hitman got his teeth now what i will say is he was smart this is a prank outside of anything that most people would do because their girl would go crazy and he it worked and he came out with a video later on in the day saying it was just a prank and you know i'm sure that that youtube channel has generated a lot of traffic trust me and his his girl went as far as deleting her instagram and things like that and um she came back and the reason why i'm speaking about it is because it's sensationalized he is a battle rapper this is, this is a battle rapper that just had a super viral moment and a lot of people was chiming in. You know, you had the women versus the men. The women were like, oh, men ain't dog, men ain't shit, blah, 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 blah. Then you had the men like, my first tweet, I promise you, when I first seen the whole story, the first thing I said, where was I at? I was actually leaving. Um, I was at a store. No, I went for a run, as a matter of fact. I was running. And then when I stopped running, I seen my whole timeline blowing up about Hitman Holla, Hitman Holla, Hitman Holla, and cheating and cheating and cheating. And the first thing I tweeted before I even seen anything was, Hitman Holla ain't do whatever they said. I don't give a F. Like, I just did not care. Focus, focus. We need you to focus. Uh, you know the camera be trying to trip sometimes. I said, Hitman Holla ain't do whatever they said. I don't give a F. Like, it just, the reason why is because I'm like, why would somebody who had, I mean, I know people are stupid, people have done, done shit before. 
I'm like, he has a platform of millions of people. Ain't no way in hell he gonna get caught up with a chick with those type of pictures. Ain't no way. I just knew for a fact. I was like, he just came out with a YouTube channel too. I'm like, he just came out with a YouTube channel and he's got a huge platform. There's no way in hell. If you gonna slide out, you gonna slide out, but you ain't about to get caught up like that. Ain't no, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Mm -mm. I, I couldn't believe it. I just personally was like, no. But, uh, you know, it came out to be a prank. And like I said, how can pictures be a worse prank than the period prank where the chick, like, walked over her dude and, like, had fake blood drop on him and all? Like, bro, people go all out to get clout. There's a million people trying to do the same thing. If there's a million people trying to do the same thing, somebody got to do something to get themselves to the top. Now, I ain't knocking it. It is what it is. That's just the way it goes. Like, you'll have in every form of industry, people are doing things to get noticed. Like, it happens every day. Um, salute to Hitman. I know he wasn't that. I knew he wasn't that stupid. I was like, ain't no way in hell. Nope, nope, nope. And you could kind of like tell as the day was going on. I'm like, his friends are coming to the defense of it. Like, I'm salute to all of his people that was coming to the defense and like telling her to take the shit down and woo, 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 woo. But he didn't say nothing. So I'm like, ain't no way you're going to have your people stepping up, catching bullets for you. Uh, John John's a real friend. Salute to John John Don Alden. He was at the front line going to war for Hitman. I just said, I don't, hey, I was like, he didn't do that shit. But, uh, you know, he was, he was definitely catching some bullets from chicks. Like, oh, niggas ain't shit. Oh, she moved from here to there to be with him. Like, it was a lot of... I seen these comments all up and down the timeline. And I didn't even know what was going on because I'm like, what? And that's why I ain't talking about this shit yesterday because I'm like, man, this is stupid. But subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? This is generating traffic. This is why this is being talked about. It's because he pulled a prank. It was a big one. This is... That video is gonna do millions. People, I know people are gonna watch that video because they're gonna wanna know how the fuck did he pull this off and why would he think to even do it? Smart, <laughs> genius move by him, man. I must say, is it, and with the traffic that's gonna go to that channel and watch it, it's gonna equal a check. So I mean, yeah, and his, um, his girlfriend had replied to the whole situation or whatever. I seen that floating around too. I was just, uh, it was mad long. You know how women are when they get, when they get hot. She said, for everybody trying to laugh at me, joke's on you. Yes, it was a prank. No, I didn't know about it. Yes, I cried. I blocked his number. Yes, I went to my friend and went out MIA. Yes, I deactivated my IG and Facebook because I didn't know it was a prank and I was pissed. But all you bitches that laughed at my pain laugh at this. This YouTube anything goes. By the way, I'm going on a blocking spree. Block, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Gossip of the City gets you a new storyline, bitch. It's crazy how the motherfuckers in St. Louis pray for your downfall. Anyway, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Hitman Holland and Cinnamon. Thanks to the real ones for having my back. And that, that that's gonna generate traffic. These niggas are ch -ch gonna get paid. Get paid, young nigga, get paid. Um, moving on, uh, Sue Surf has upped the price on ARP. Uh, Battle Rap Fan said, ARP, it's a, we need that Math Hoffa versus Sue Surf. That's if Sue Surf has the balls to face math. You know, ARP, salute to ARP and everything that he does. You know, he's just coming off this weekend when he dropped that bomb on Norris. Um, you know, it's nasty out here. Hopefully, it gets better for him. But uh, he, uh, and that, that blog did like 100 bands, 100K? I think it's at 100K. That, that, that's how you know people just uh, people just be subscribing to see the, the, the crazy shit, you know what I'm saying, that goes on out here. I'm going to see what it did. Uh, that joint did 111,000 views in two days. Battles ain't even doing that. All you gotta do is bomb. But uh, ARP said we ready in regards to the uh, the, the surf and math. And then um, you know, so then um, Sue Surf said, I need 35k to entertain your 63 RBE mascot of a battle rapper. Changed your mind about Boom ARP because you know they was talking about. Adi Boom versus Sue Surf. That was the big talk at one time. Adi Boom versus Sue Surf. Adi Boom versus Sue Surf. We want to see Boom versus Sue Surf. And then, you know, Boom said he, he. Boom said, some way or another, I don't remember when this shit happened. It was something with Danny. He said he wrote for Surf. I don't see it because I don't hear nothing in Boom. When even before the paperwork came out, I never saw nothing in Boom or heard nothing in Boom remotely close to what Sue Surf would spit. So I thought that that was just some frivolous shit to begin with, to mind you. 
So he said you changed your mind on Boom. That was kind of like a little throwing a little dart. Like you changed your mind on your man. That was your man. That was your man. John Starks the dark the dunk joint. Boom. You boomed on you. You you changing. You changing your fucking mind on your fucking man. That's what he's basically saying. Not me. That's what he's saying. And so then somebody else said uh, West God West Side God Flow said make it forty five thousand. Ain't nobody checking for this matchup but Math and ARP. SMH nobody for this. We waiting for you and Lux. F out of here. And then somebody said, and then Sue Surf said, tag AR Percy, saying tag ARP um, and let him know that it's not 35, it's 40. He's basically upping the number. Um, <clears throat> if you ask me, um, Sue Surf is a hell of a businessman. Uh, he's made a pretty good living for himself musically and um, battle rap wise. You know what I'm saying? He's not going, he's not working at Home Depot. I know that. He's not, he's not doing that. He's not working at Lowe's or no shit like that. So he's making a good life for himself with the battle rap. And what I will say is that um, he, I don't, I don't think he'll ever battle on RB. I don't think so, because he's real loyal to URL. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't see that happening. I mean, he'll talk shit because he always talks shit. That's what he does. Who serves a shit talker? If you don't know him, get to know him. He, he, if you get into his world, you know him. He, he's a hell of a shit talker. And I mean, even with the Lux battle, he's talking, he's talking real heavy. And that's what he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's it's remarkable. Because he's been able to brand himself unlike a lot of other people have. He's been able to do that. And when it comes to the music, he's uh, neck, head, and eyes above everybody else that does battle rap's music. Because I know people who literally are like, I know Sue Surf, the musician. I remember I had a conversation with somebody. Somebody was like, oh man, I'll be listening to that Sue Surf. He's a battle rapper? Like, they don't even know he's a battle rapper. They know him as an artist. They don't even... They know him as an artist, like, I didn't know, so you're talking about the, the, the dude with the, the tape, he's battle rap, still. so once you start to, once your transition comes to music first, and they know you for music and not battle rapping, you're in a good space, but uh, I don't think he would battle on RBE. Math is doing good with himself, obviously, Math has um, my expert opinion, he's doing phenomenal with what he's doing, and he's bringing his, you know, side of how he does things, he has different guests and artists. And he's really, you know, he's really making it. He's making, he's doing, making out good for himself. So whether he battles or not, I don't know if it's, it's, it's really a big thing because he's really transitioned over well. And he has a battle with B-Magic that happened that didn't drop yet. Um, fucking street status, man. I don't know what's going on with them niggas in St. Louis with that battle. They got that and they got Young Ill phenomenal battles that I'm pretty sure was good that didn't drop yet. So I don't know. You want what I got on? RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise you heard me right. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Uh, feeling real generous. So the next uh, in the next week or so, the people who order, I'm gonna you know I'm pick a couple names out and I'm gonna throw an extra free thing in there, a little freebie. I ain't gonna put it out, but if you if you cop, just look out. You you never know, it might be you. But you already know what it's doing, what it does. So you gotta ask what it was. Shaky hand. Get a close up. Get 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 a close up. Yeah, yeah. Y'all say Jordan didn't jump. That's Jordan Hand up there. That's Jordan Hand up there if you didn't know. Okay. One. Beauty, I ain't have a scale. But I knew the plug, I ain't need a scale. I cleaned it up, now I'm too legit. I'm making it harder for them to do the shit. A crazy ass world that we living in. I'm crazy enough to move through the shit. These bitches, they be looking for a Mr. Right. Just to finesse and do a nigga wrong I seen a nigga run through life, pretty K Just to fuck it off with a potential bae Get up and